hello everyone welcome to clean coder youtube channel so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet i would highly encourage you to please subscribe my channel as i'll be uploading the editorial videos of commonly asked lead code interview questions very frequently so let's get started with this problem number 1008 construct my research tree bst from pre-order traversal okay so what problem statement tells us given an array of integers pre-order which represents the pre-order traversal of a bst construct the tree and return its root it is always guaranteed that there is always a possibility to find a bst with the given requirements for the given test case okay and then he has explained uh, the bst definition so it is a binary tree where for every node any descendant of node dot left has value strictly less than node dot val and any descendant of node dot right has a value strictly greater than node dot val and after that uh, it has explained like what pre-order traversal is uh, which i'll uh, explain with the help of this example so this is a binary search tree right this is the output actually uh, what he has given to us is this the pre-order traversal of this uh, if you quickly try to do the pre-order traversal so in pre-order traversal the first element which comes is root okay and then comes left and then comes right okay so if you do recursively this kind of traversal on this uh, by bst you will obtain this right uh, this is root 8 then 5 then 1 then 7 then 10 then 12 so this is the pre-order traversal which they've given to us uh, we are supposed to return this uh, bst okay so example 2 you can go through on your own uh, let's check the constraints quickly uh, the pre-order length array is between 1 to 100 elements are between range 1 to 10 to power 8 and all the values of pre-order are unique okay so let's move to our whiteboard for better understanding of this video of this problem so this is the input this is the output which they are expecting okay so uh, like if if i give you a heads up intuition like what intuition or uh, what uh, thing you can notice from the input is that if i try to do the traversal of this pre-order array like i am traversing this array from left to right okay now you check how i am traversing this uh, bst okay when i am eight at eight i am at here okay then i move to five okay i moved here then i move to left side okay then i move to uh, the next uh, left element which is one i move to further left okay here now you check here that right? seven seven is not compatible with one like i can't paste seven to the left of one this comes quite naturally right like bst property would be violated in that case okay so what i'll do in that case it's very very simple i'll uh, backtrack okay backtracking means moving to the parent okay from where i have come i have come from five so i have backtracked so from uh one I, i'll reverse my recursion to five and then what i'll do is i'll move towards right okay so now at uh, seven at seven i'll uh, apply this seven node on the right of five now again i'll move to ten now again you can't apply ten to the left of seven right because uh, clearly bsc properties are violated so what i'll do is i'll backtrack okay now i'll come to five now here the thing is interesting right again uh, bst property would be violated uh, you can't append f uh, 10 to the uh, right of 5 you need to backtrack again 
because we already have seven there right so i will backtrack again eight so now at eight you can clearly see that uh, we can append uh, 10 towards the right okay so i'll append the 10 towards the right and i'll move to the next place 12 so 12 uh, we can't append 12 to the left of 10 so we'll append to the right of 10 so 12 would come here so if uh, you have got the intuition it would help a lot in understanding the solution approach but uh, even if you haven't got the intuition don't worry uh, there would be a thorough explanation uh, going forward so let's move to the next slide so frankly speaking there are uh, two approaches possible for this problem uh, like uh, we can for a moment forget that this is a BST we can treat this uh, tree as a binary tree and we can use the approach similar to uh, the problem where we were given pre-order traversal and uh, in order traversal and we were supposed to return the binary tree so what we can do is we can always generate in order traversal from pre-order traversal because for a BST in order traversal is always a uh, simple sort of pre-order traversal okay so once we generate the in order traversal we can use the similar approach in which we search the elements of pre-order traversal in in order traversal and we continue that uh, recursively like this would also give correct solution like this is also a valid solution but uh, like it would involve a little overhead because we'll be requiring the in order traversal and uh, we'll be doing we'll be processing both recursively so a better approach is actually to use the bst properties itself to make the bst from the uh pre-order traversal actually here pre should come okay we should use the bst properties to make bst from the given pre-order traversal so let's move to the next slide to understand this second approach in more depth okay so this is the algorithm what it says let's go through it once uh, it says uh, iterate in pre-order traversal uh, the original array and try to link the node wherever possible according to bst properties okay bst property should not be violated and try to link wherever you can and if attaching a node violates bst properties then just backtrack like it is quite similar to the intuition i already explained in uh, the earlier slide so now like algorithm should be clear to you uh, like uh, even if there is a slight doubt don't worry because in the next slide uh, we'll be going through the dry run of a test case and i'll be showing you my sample uh, code also so let's uh, move through the code walk through now so what we are given is uh, we are given a function bst from pre-order we are given a pre-order array we are expected to return the uh, binary search tree okay so again i am making a array of size one to use uh, this uh, index parameter uh, as a pass by reference so that i can persist its value between different recursive calls so now let's check the aux function what i'm passing pre-order is the pre-order array which i got as input integer dot minimum value this is like negative infinity integer dot maximum value this is like positive infinity and index is this one okay this one i am passing which is initially zero so this these parameters are just saying that uh, any value between negative infinity to positive infinity is a uh, allowed root so what i'll do is i'll uh, constrain this min and maximum value as i move to the left and right child of the binary search tree recursively so let's try to try run this recursive 
solution on this pre-order traversal like you would get better understanding uh, while doing this okay so initially what would happen is my pre-order uh, array like my index would be pointing to zero okay i'll write here zero negative infinity positive infinity okay this is my pre-order index this is my minimum value this is my negative value okay so here it will make eight okay so this is this will not run initially this will also not run initially so this this line would make this node and i'll do index of zero plus one so next i'll do a left recursive call okay so in left recursive call what would happen like this is pointing to one now so i'll again come back here and here the parameter which would attach would be five okay now the maximum permissible value here was only eight like this plus infinity parameter got updated so uh, this for five so similarly i'll move to the next uh, value one again i'll do a left recursive call this would be one this would be two negative infinity two five again one is less than five and greater than negative infinity so uh, it is a fine value again i'll move to the uh, next uh, next condition seven so now we can clearly see this condition would hit because uh, seven seven violates uh, this this condition okay so what would happen it will return null in that case okay so now it will backtrack and do a right recursive call okay it will do a right recursive call tem dot right so again seven i will try to attach it here okay but again seven is violating this condition okay seven is not between negative infinity to five so again null would attach here okay so it will return from this case and null would get attached here so again i'll backtrack so the uh, the left branch of the previous recursive call would be complete now i'll move to right so clearly seven lies between negative infinity to eight so seven would get attached here and uh, i'll be able to continue my recursive function so now what would happen next is uh, i'll uh, uh okay seven i have attached uh five uh, seven is the right child of uh, five okay time to write okay so uh, we'll just uh, reach this seven now we'll reach at 10 okay so what would happen at 10 is clearly for this if i write that ranges for mm, seven eight okay so 10 doesn't lie between this range so what would happen is a null would get appended here and as well here okay now i'll backtrack from seven to five again 10 doesn't belong to this range i'll backtrack now the left branch is complete i'll backtrack towards the right branch okay okay so 10 would attach itself to here and i'll write four eight sorry i'll update uh, it as eight comma infinity okay now again i'll move to the next value which is 12 now clearly 12 when i'll do a left recursive call 12 doesn't belong uh, when i when i'll do a left recursive call for 10 so clearly 12 doesn't belongs between 
8 and 10 here 10 should come okay 12 doesn't belong between 8 and 10 so it would backtrack and 12 would get attached here okay so this is the binary search tree which would obtain whose in order traversal is uh this array 8 5 1 7 10 12 okay so this is quite uh, straightforward which uh, we we'll obtain so let's uh, check the time and space complexity for this problem so time complexity is again quite straightforward it is uh, o of n and what is space complexity space complexity is o of h where h is the height of binary tree okay Okay, n is the number of nodes in the binary search tree. So, this was uh, all I wanted to talk about uh, in this problem. So, if you still feel some doubt regarding uh, the code walkthrough or any of the explanation given in this video, please feel free to drop your doubt or comment below this video in the comment section and i'll try my best to reply to all of your comments otherwise you can pick a paper and try to trace this uh, test case yourself like it will give you a lot more clarity uh, than what uh, what i am trying to do so yeah please feel free to do that as well so i i would like to thank you all for watching this uh, video and please subscribe to my channel clean coder thanks a lot